So you want to see an escort and you're thinking, how do I do that? Because you've never done it before. This video is for you. Or if you've been doing it wrong, this video is for you. <laughs> so one way to find some ladies is to, you know, you search your city and escort and see what pops up. And there's gonna be like a million fucking sites cause there's like a million of them. Now, by the time this video probably posts, there'll be 10 already gone and 10 new ones. But for now, this, this is my comprehensive list. And not even that comprehensive. I'm only gonna name a few because some of the other sites suck, you know? So I'm not gonna name those. So best one ever, Private Delights. But Private Delights is only good for California. Now, it is getting more popular um, everywhere else, so definitely try privatedelights.ch and search your city and see what comes up. And if you don't really find anything, then you're gonna have to use some of these other sites I'm about to list. Now, Private Delights has reviews, so that's already the next step. Read them, read those reviews. See if she's a rap. See if she seems legit. See if she seems good. Um, and then go from there. Now, another site that's all over is Trist.link. Great site to use. A lot of those pictures, you can almost guarantee that they're all real. Those girls are vetted. They do not play on that site. Um, another good one is P411, which I think is invite only. I think the guys do have to pay something to be on there, but I'm not kidding. It is the safest option you will ever, if you have a very good job, a government job, anything, that's that's the site you wanna be on. That site doesn't play at all. <laughs> um, and a lot of girls take the guys from that site a lot more seriously, so you probably won't even have to screen. I'm not saying that for everybody, but most girls, if you're on there, they go, come on through. Coast, or if you're in Oregon, or if you're in Washington, then TNA board is your go-to. That's gonna be where you find bitches to fuck. Just a heads up. Book, which has reviews as well and then there's always erotic monkey there's always adult search but those you're gonna get a lot more of that funny business that happens with this industry sorry they're not all like me some girls are assholes I'm sorry I'm like it just comes with it so you're on the site you read her ad and you're like this is the girl I want to see google her Google the phone number and see if all her pictures match that phone number that's on the different ads. Because no girl posts on just one site. You can't find anything, no history, don't do it. Just don't do it. Now, if you've never done this before, don't go and try to take one for the team. Don't end up in a sting. I don't want to see your face on the newspaper. I don't. I mean, you just trying to get your dick sucked. You know, it's like, don't do that. But check and see if all of her stuff matches up. And then if she pulls up on other sites that do have reviews, Read those sites because sometimes the reviews don't match. Like you'll have private delights and the girl has all these rave reviews and then you go and look at Erotic Monkey and she's got like five Rob reports. I'm just saying. Do a little bit of research. Although I will say with private delights, it is pretty accurate. 90% of the time it is pretty accurate. If a girl has a hundred and something reviews and all of them are good, she only has like maybe two or three from a while ago, You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're safe. Um, but do your research. Like, read her ad and see what she wants from you. Is she reference friendly? I'm not reference friendly. Is she newbie friendly? Was she? Is she even? Because some girls put it right there on the ad, they won't see you. They don't want to see the new guy. Because you know, new guys can be kind of hard. They can be kind of difficult. Um, but check to see. If she doesn't have that, then look at what other screening methods she has. Um, some girls post right away. Some girls want you to text to find out. But if all you have to do is give your ID or a deposit or um, she wants uh, your real phone number or she wants to look at a little peek at your social media or something, um, I mean, there are ways There are ways to screen you. And most girls are we're kind of established. I mean, if you go and you check her out through Google and everything matches up, she's not she's not one of the bad ones. I'm pretty fucking sure she's not one of the bad ones. So 
Just go through the screening process, whatever it is, go through the screen. And some girls don't even screen. She's gonna say, send me your face, send me your dick, send me your money. Or not even that. They'll just be like, come back, come back, it's fine. Doesn't mean she's not a good provider, because she can be a great provider. Some girls just uh they don't this is this is their whole life. They don't care if they have a hoe charge or anything. I mean, it's nothing for them. So I mean, go for it. If everything matches up, just do what she asks and go for it. If you picked her, she must be pretty fucking amazing, right? Now, if she has a website, read it. You're going to get a whole bunch of information from that website. A whole bunch. A lot of girls have exactly how they want you to put down the money. Because some girls want to envelope, some girls don't. Some girls want you, when you walk in, to go put the money down, go wash your hands. Some girls want you to um, touch them just so they feel like, oh, okay, you're not a cop. Um, but really good information is right there on her website. If she has one, just check it out, you know. And honestly, it might make you even more excited to see her. Maybe she has some passions listed and you're like, oh, shit, I fucking love that too. And you're like, oh, my God. She's fucking cool. Um, but that will be like a really great way to start. It makes you less nervous. And yeah, book. And then once you get that booking, be on time. Be on time. Be on time. <laughs> and you're like, oh my God, Narissa, why are you stressing that so much? Because you guys are never on time. So do that, you'll win her over right there. I honestly tell, like, I feel like if you get there like maybe five minutes early, and if she's not ready within that five minutes, that's okay, but um, get there like five minutes early um, just so that she has detailed instructions on how to get to her room, then you have enough time to follow those directions and kind of get acquainted or whatever. And, um, you know, once she sends that to you, you say, I'm here, she sends that to you, follow the directions, get to the room, Put the money down before anything. I don't care. No girl wants you to try to pay after. It doesn't work. This isn't after pay. This isn't a loan. There's no IOUs. Put the money down. If she asks you to wash your hands, she's trying to put the money away. Out of sight, out of mind. It, it honestly is a better experience when you don't have the money sitting right there glaring. It takes a little less seating, like seediness out of this, you know? So it makes it a little more enjoyable. So thank her for that. That's amazing. Um, and then just have fun. Like... That's what you're here for, right? You want your dick sucked? Mm, you want your dick sucked? Ball lick? You want a kiss? Make sure it's stuff she's comfortable with, but I'm hopefully, hopefully you figured out what she's okay with and what she's not okay with before you go. If she doesn't have anything and doesn't talk about anything, then just go with it. And you know what? This is one of the great things, okay? She doesn't do something that you really like and you didn't know it before you got there enjoy your time and you just don't see her again and you find somebody else i try to make it very transparent this is exactly what you're gonna get da, 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 da. not everybody does that and there's no wrong way to do this business so if you didn't have a good time or you didn't love everything about it you just call somebody else you're very polite you're still very nice and you really might have just won over her enough to where she would give you a reference if you needed it now you've just opened yourself up to a whole bunch of other girls that maybe you couldn't have saw before because you were new. I know, right? I'm blowing minds today. That's what I'm here for. That really is. Now, on the flip side, let's say you book, you're excited, she gives you the room number, she opens the door, and the pictures that she has on the ad are about 25 years ago. Or she's, like, it's one thing to gain a little bit of weight, you know, and, and I'm, hey, I'm good with angles. Oh, you guys think I look this good? No, no, no. All tricks, I swear, it's all tricks. Um, if she's not the girl in the pictures, if her room is disgusting, because I've heard some horror stories, don't stay. You don't have any obligation. If she misrepresented herself, fuck that bitch. You mean that girl you call me? Fuck that bitch. Okay, that's the song. Um, don't stay. The polite thing, if you don't want to have any drama that might possibly happen, is just go, you know what, I'm sorry, I thought this was something else. Put $20 down, $40. Don't. <laughs> don't leave the whole donation. Put down $40, $20. Thank you for her time, but just say, you know what, I don't think this is going to work, and leave. Because... That's not your fault. That's not your problem. And you don't owe somebody that because they re misrepresented themselves. So 
don't feel guilty, okay? Don't feel guilty. That's not on you, that's on them. They, they should have been more honest, right? The reason why this is called a hobby is because it's supposed to be enjoyable. So after all is said and done, when you've taken the plunge, at the end of the day, you have to understand that this is supposed to be fun. So enjoy it. I mean, lay back, you know, like just have some fun. Like don't stress. Don't think about any anything going on in your regular life. This is the break from the real world, okay? It's a no strings attached. You don't have to worry about those emotions that might mess up something you have going on. You're literally have fun and try not to get addicted to this. <laughs> Basically, that's, yeah, try not to get addicted to this, okay? And be safe out there.